the assembly simply debated and voted on the motion. It did not satisfy itself that the violation of the constitution on which the motion was based was of the kind contemplated in the section. Therefore, we conclude that the assembly did not hold the president to account as was required by section 89. The constitutional delinquent, Mr. Zuma, in no time will be a, a, a scrutinized, will be brought before parliament to be accountable because his own political party has actually failed to hold him accountable. What we have achieved today has been to expose the fact that the National Assembly, led by the Speaker, tried to collaborate with President Zuma uh, by, by hiding and protecting him.